So let's talk about the basalt pyroclastic debris. So remember, basalt flows. This is a very low viscosity. So we're not going to see too many big things come out of here. Right? So, for example, we will never see a pyroclastic flow right, itself. We're going to see small things come out of here. So the small things that you just learned about are things like lapilli or Pele's tears or Pele's hair. These are all very small. Okay, so lapilli are pea-sized fragments. So essentially, when our volcano erupts, okay, mostly, right, remember, you're going to get a lava flow. Right? Sometimes you can get some material that kind of jets out, as you see in that picture. So as it jets out and comes down, it's going to start to cool. And it can cool into different sized particles. If it cools into a pea-sized particle, that's called a lapilli. If it is a drop, much larger than a pea size, we call that Pele's tears. And of course it's going to be teardrop in shape. Now sometimes when these parts come down, they can freeze kind of as they come down and form hair-like strands. They're going to be nice and long. So it's called Pele's hair. Now Pele comes from, because it's, it's the god of, of fire, right? so this kind of has to deal with some of that Hawaiian tradition. Now, if you notice, we also have things called blocks and bombs. Now, these are larger. These form again during the eruption. So, first our blocks form. Let's say here we have our eruption. And as that lava comes up and it wants to erupt, it has to blow the top off of this volcano. So, as it blows the top off, that debris has to go somewhere, right, that made up the top of this. So now we've got these big chunks that are flying through the air. And those are called blocks. Now, the way bombs are formed is as this lava may come out, and especially when it comes out at first, it might spew out a little bit. As it comes down, if it's a whole big piece, right, a lot of lava that's flying up into the air, as it comes down, it's going to essentially make a Pele's tear, but really big. These can be, you know, the size of your fist all the way up to, say, like the size of your face. These can be really large pieces. And they're called bombs because as they come down, right, they have this nice smooth shape. And as they come down, if they hit you, right, it's going to feel like a bomb going off. So, again, remember that those pyroclastic basaltic debris, these are all going to be very relatively small in size. Because, remember, basalt flows due to its low viscosity.